Understanding why intermittent fasting works does not take a degree in rocket science. It can be explained simply by understanding how your body uses the fuel that we call food. Shortly after beginning to eat, insulin is released. And it might only be one or two bites of food, but it will start the digestive process, which includes insulin. Normally, insulin is a very helpful hormone. Our bodies have a warehouse, warehouse of fuel reserves. This is called our fat. And insulin makes sure that this warehouse of fuel in our body is always fully stocked. Insulin also makes sure that it can find raw materials, known as sugar, to make into fuel or fat for storage. And during the time of insulin-induced fat storage, the cellular machinery for burning fat cannot start. This is very helpful if you need to store fuel for times when there isn't much food. And until the last 500 years or so, our ancestors ate that way. But in the times in which we live today, we have proven to be too rich for this insulin-mediated fat storage system our bodies possess. The frequency that most of us eat cause insulin to be released into the body too soon after the last insulin release. Remember, insulin is released shortly after you eat, every time you eat, and it takes about 12 hours after you eat for levels to return back to normal. And during that 12 hour time, the body has been in fat storage mode. You've not been able to start the fat burning machinery of the cells. Even if you're eating a reduced calorie diet, your body has a hard time burning fat because of the insulin response, which occurs with almost any amount of food eaten within 12 hours of your last meal. The only way to reliably start burning fat for fuel is to lower insulin levels. And intermittent fasting provides this reliability. Because after 12 hours of not eating, insulin levels have returned to normal and your fat cells get back to doing their second job, providing fuel for the body. As insulin levels drop, the fat burning engines start in every fat cell. This is referred to as your fast time, anything beyond the 12 hours after your last meal. And this is the time where your body does its maximal fat burning. The fasting phase also alerts the nervous system to potential stress, resulting in the generation of energy and ultimately the burning of fat. There are other effects of fasting too. As the body downregulates the storage and upregulates metabolism, the cells go into a spring cleaning mode. During this time, the body recycles old cellular proteins and, break, and broken down enzymes to provide temporary energy to the cell. This added effect of cleaning out the cells is a detoxification process for the body and a method by which you can slow down the aging process of the body. Periods of fasting do reduce calorie consumption. They slow down the internal aging clock and they keep you younger for longer.